stick around to find out what plans I have for this piece of wood. Hi guys, Holleriti! <laughs> Thank you for stopping by, I'm really glad to see you again. Today I got a really awesome vision. So I found this piece of wood, it was really dirty, I showed you the video earlier already. I took a sander, I sanded it all down, I took a chisel and took out all the soft wood pieces to clean it up really nicely so I don't have any issues later because I do want to pour resin again with it. It's going to be a side table and my vision with this is I will have water waves coming and running this way, getting dragged down by the waterfall and then running off to in the river. Let's see if I can make it happen. First of all, the gloves. Lass uns anfangen. The first step is to get a little bit of resin and cover the whole board in it. Mix the resin using your manufacturer instructions. And as usual, it's time for the resin mixing dance. Let's have some fun with it. There will be lots of mixing. That shall be enough of the mixing. Let's cover the board in a thin layer of resin. Use a popsicle stick to spread the resin. Now we let the board dry for a few hours and then we come back, flip it over and do the same on the other side. Once you flip the board over and put resin on the other side, it should look like this. Now it's time to let the resin dry for about a day or so. It's the next morning now and the board has dried enough for me to tape off the big gap in the middle that will be the river. Like always, I use tuck tape and stick it directly to the wood. Make sure the edges of the tape overlap enough to give it a tight seal. To close up the big gap in the front, use a piece of cardboard and cover it in tuck tape. Secure the cardboard tightly onto the wood piece. Make sure there are no gaps, you do not want the resin to leak. Flip the piece to its side and put some more tape on the bottom. Once you got everything tightly taped up, it's time to mix more resin. Which means resin dance! Alright, let's fast forward this a bit. Once the resin is thoroughly mixed, start applying it to the board. Choose your colors and start mixing them. You can find a link to all the products I used in the description below. You can use as much or as little color as you like. Just be creative. As for the white, make sure you use a heavy pigmented brand. The goal here is to make it look like a foaming waterfall. Use a heat gun to slightly heat up the resin so it's easier to spread. Then use your hands to spread the resin evenly. Use a popsicle stick or your fingers to mix the white with the green. Break the surface of the resin by applying light pressure with the popsicle stick to move the colors underneath. Use a heat gun to pop any bubbles. This is how the tabletop looks so far. Now it's time to let the resin dry. Be careful not to stir up any dust inside your room. Anything will stick to the resin. The surface of the table is done. I let the resin cure for about five days. Let's have a closer look at it. As you can see, the resin cured perfectly. No dents, no lens, no bubbles. Now since the tabletop is ready, let's flip it over and take care of the bottom. If you put a surface, a lot of the resin sticks to the bottom and gives little droplets. They're very easy to remove. 
Just get yourself a razor blade. I got this one from the dollar store. There's a lot of fancy tools you can get on Amazon as well. Um, there are some scrapers I have seen people use. Maybe in the future I will get one of those because they seem to work very well. For now I'm using the razor blade. All you have to do now is take a heat gun, heat up the resin a bit, take the razor blade and scrape it off. Make sure you don't overheat anything and burn the resin. As you can see, the more the resin heats up, the simpler it is to remove. Just scrape off as much as you easily can. The rest will be removed with the sander. We are back in the workshop. It's time to sand off the bottom piece. Like always, make sure you wear your safety gear. Remove all the excess resin and sand the bottom smooth. It's time to finish the bottom. For my project, I will be using walrus oil. Furniture finish. Apply the oil onto a rack or directly onto the wood. This piece is really thirsty. Come and have a closer look. You can see the wood just soak in the oil. Make sure you apply sufficient oil. Let the piece dry for about 24 to 48 hours. After the oil has dried, it's time to attach the legs. The legs I'm using are purchased from Amazon for $37. They came in a four pack. I decided to only use three of those. Decide for the best location for the legs and then pre-drill the holes. Once you pre-drill the holes, attach the legs with the supplied screws. Make sure to not over tighten the screws. Now do the same process with the other two legs. First, Pre-drill the holes and then use the supplied screws to attach the table legs to the table. And of course I use my French cleat system to store my tools. It's time to flip the table and look at the finished product. And I'm so excited. It's perfect. We are fatig. Don't you agree this table is just perfect? It turned out just like I wanted it. Thank you again for watching and thank you for your support. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Also, please leave me a comment if you like. You can let me know what you would like to see in my next video. I hope to see you soon. Tschüss.